hi Pisces welcome back to my channel the light of grace and this is grace it's time for another money job life reading and this will be for the month of March 2022 I thank you so much for coming back to my channel for my subscriber who, who's been loyal to me who's been good to me thank you very much and uh, for my new viewers I'm hoping that there is something here that really really going to help you with your situation in regards to job money and life thank you very much for that if it does please like share and subscribe i would really appreciate it and hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new readings that i have for you and then um yeah i guess we can start now this is the money reading this is the pisces with job reading pisces with no job reading life reading and the three tangible blessings that you're going to be receiving for the month of march 2022 now put this on the side let's start with this uh, money what's coming your way you have the crown chakra disruption or tower not for you go spirit there is always enough page of earth and surrender to silence in quiet meditation or contemplation let go and enter the stillness within silence can heal and replenish you okay <clears throat> so what's coming to you this march 2022 first of all i'm gonna say there's not gonna be um uh lack of money for sure you do have money because it says here there is always enough so you do have money okay okay let's talk about the disruption first before the crown chakra at this very moment in time you feel nervous that's what i'm feeling with this disruption maybe for some of you you're worried that you don't have enough maybe for some of you you feel like you need more there's a lot of things in your mind there's something big happening in your life right now when it comes to money okay i don't know if you're planning to buy something okay if you are going to do something that's gonna require money okay what i feel that having this not for you i feel that the universe is saying that whatever you're thinking is not gonna be for you or it's not gonna be good for you because i feel like you are in you are kind of worried about this you feel worried you feel like uh, it, it stresses you out and maybe for some of you it upsets you but this is something big okay this is something big if you are thinking of of maybe stepping into another job to get more money because you think you don't have enough or you feel if you think about investing your money to something because you think that it's going to give you more what i feel that with this it's like the universe is stopping you not to do it because it's not i think nope 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 don't do it pisces the universe is saying there is enough for you you don't have to worry about 
any money. And you don't have to worry about money for now. You don't have to worry about any money for now. For some of you, you might have a little, you know, that you have built for yourself, but that's the beginning of it. That's the good stuff. That's a good. It's a steady, it's a steady and grounded income that you are having right now. For some of you, maybe you're planning to invest, to 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 initiate some sort of a project, or maybe uh, um, endeavor a new business. Because maybe you think that it's going to help you to increase your money. But the universe is saying that you already have enough for now. The universe is saying surrender to silence. With this message here is to calm yourself down. With this disruption going on, there's a lot of noise in your head right now. There's a lot of noise inside you that is really bothering you. The universe is saying is that enter the stillness within. Be quiet. Stop thinking. Stop thinking and stop thinking. Stop worrying. Stop stressing. What's coming your way, you have the crown chakra. This crown chakra is just saying that you are connected to the divine. You are connected to your higher self. Listen to your intuition because that's how the divine and your higher self is communicating with you. But you can hear your intuition. You can hear the real answer from the deepest part of you if you put yourself into silence. However you find silence, then do it. It could be in meditation. It could be in contemplation. But however you get this silence, that's how you're going to get the answer that you need. What is your that your heart is telling? What's what what is it going? What is really your heart? What is really your heart is telling you? What is really your heart is telling you? It seems like a crooked sentence. <laughs> Does you do you really know what your heart feels about this? This is going to be gifted to you by the universe, this access to the divine, so you can know what you need to do in this disruptive moment right now, in this financial situation that you're going through. And it feels to be it's a big problem to you. However, this might resonate with you. Try to fit it in your situation. But the divine is saying that follow your intuition, follow your, your heart, follow your faith, follow you whatever you believe in. But on the other hand, the universe is saying to you that you do have enough. That whatever and that whatever you work on, you already work, it's already starting to build. It might be small, but it's already building. But whatever thing that you're trying to initiate involving money, I feel that it might not be for all of you. Okay? Not for all of you. Maybe some of you, whatever you're planning to do, it's not for you. Because the universe is saying you already have enough. And if that is not the case, if you're having some money problem right now, you do have money, but you're, there's some issues going on with your finance. To find answer to that is to find that quiet space in your heart and in your mind. Follow your crown chakra. Follow your intuition. Pray. Have faith. 
listen to your heart because that's where the divine talks to you. You know, you already know what to do. You already know what you need to, to take, what, what you need to respond to the situation. You already know what to do. You know you're going to be okay. You already know that you're going to be okay financially. Okay? You already know the answer and you know you're going to be okay. Now for Pisces with job, you have truth, passion ignited, surrender to the divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Messenger of fire. Cat spirit claim your independence. To the sea. We'll talk about the truth in a minute. Well, let's talk about this passion igniting. At this very moment in time, my dear Pisces, we job. I feel that you have a lot of ideas. I feel like you're inspired at work. I feel like you're in the mood to work. You're happy to be at work. You're happy to go to work. There's so much energy for you that you are so fired up. I don't know what kind of work you do. But you seem to be uh, having so much of this energy when you go to work. You love to go to work. It feels like it, it feels like you have passion, passionate feelings about going to work. Okay, you are so driven to go to work. For some reason, you just love to work. You love to work, or you love your work. There's something about it. Okay. But there is something that you wanted to happen. There's something that you wanted to happen because I have the divine timing in here. If this is something that you want to happen, and I don't know what that is. It could vary to different situation, okay? But you are not holding on that. You are really taking an action for this one. You're really taking action. Whatever this thing that you are waiting or that you're working on, you want to happen, you're working on it, and you are going for it. For some of you, whatever that you're desiring, that it might happen, because we have the truth, we have the judgment, this is the karma. Or this judgment, this truth, will be the answer to whatever you're asking for, and I don't know how it, that might be. Maybe for some of you, it might take time because the divine timing is here, and the, the universe is letting you know that it's, it need, you need to be patient for this. You are active at work. You, ha you are really fired up. You're really working. And for sure with this, it's telling me that you are not lazy at work. You are. You work. And you are dependable. You don't rely on people. With this, claim your independence. You are dependable. You are your own resources. You know how to find answers to every problem that comes. You know how to find solution. You know how to figure it out. 
with so much fire in you, you are, you, you, it's like there's nothing that you can't do at work. You have your heart to this work. It's like you're drawn to do this work. You let your heart, you follow your heart because you believe that your heart is going to take you to where you're supposed to be as it says in Passion Ignited too. You follow your heart, you follow your desire. So the universe is letting you know yet that you are independent, hardworking, dependable person. But there is something that you want it to happen. And you're waiting for it. And maybe for some of you, this March 2022, it, you will get an answer for it. An answer. And I don't know what the answer, but you're going to get an answer for it. Something that is deserving of you. For some of you, you're going to hear some truth and you're going to be ecstatic about it. You're going to be so excited about the news that you're going to be getting from work. Whatever this truth that's going to be delivered to you, you're going to be so excited. You're going to think that it's the beginning of something. It's an opportunity that's arriving to you. Well, just I'm just gonna, I'm just going to say, Pisces, there's not a lot of things going on. This is beautiful, and I don't think there's a stress, so we'll keep it that, okay? We'll keep it that way. No stress, just you excited to go to work, okay? So for Pisces with no job, you have rest and rejuvenate, transformation, dog spirit, be loyal to what you love, Four of air, which is the same as the, the rest and rejuvenate because this is the four of air on this. In traditional tarot, this is four of air or four of swords and this is the four of swords, okay? Building blocks. Surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. And it's the same as this. Rest. Do you know how the synchronicity kind of, you know, is telling you to rest? Okay, let's talk about rest. <laughs> so this month of March 2022, this is a good energy for you to have. And I feel that this is going to be resonating for those people who've done a lot of work, who've been going out there finding the job. Now the universe is saying, you know what? It's time for you to rest and rejuvenate. It's time for you to rest your mind. It's time for you to sleep. It's, it's time for you to be just in a quiet, still moment. This whole month is for the time. It's the time for you to rest, rejuvenate, meditate, contemplate. There's so much reinforcement here. I mean, the universe is letting you know this. Rest. Get some more sleep. Because maybe you're on your head a lot. Because you're so dedicated to the idea of finding job. That's probably why you are out there giving all your best to find a job. Because you really have your mind to it. You really have your dedication to it. You really have your heart to it to find that job. Because you know that when you find a job, that is a way for you to start building your life. A strong, building a strong foundation. Because this is your goal. What you're really feeling inside or, or in, what's really going on in your mind when it comes to not having a job is that, you know what, you know that your hard work is going to pay off. You know that whatever the situation of not having job is going to just 
be over and then you're going to start fresh with a job. You know it's not going to be long. It's not going to be long. You know someday soon you're going to have the job. You believe that. And you believe that change is going to happen in your life. Change is going to happen. And that change is going to bring you a chance to build your life strong. You have so much dedication. That's what I'm feeling. So much dedication and so much heart that you're putting in. It's because you really want to build a strong foundation. You want to build a good life for yourself. You really want to build a good life for yourself. You want to change your life. But the universe is saying, hey, Pisces, we no job. You got to take a break. Have faith. Leave it all to me. I want you to take a break. Get some rest. Get some sleep. Hang out with your family. Hang out with your friends. Just chill. Don't think about this job thing for the whole month. Okay? We can go back to it next month. But for now, just rest. You deserve it. Okay? That's all I'm getting from this reading. You just got to rest. Trust the divine because it feels with this death card here, there is something fresh that's going to come into your life. Who knows? A job. Because death is the ending. And the when something is ending, there's new beginning. Just have that in mind, okay? Now let's go to life. What's coming your way? You have the spiritual union or two of cups. Fertility. Surrender stubbornness. If you're testing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Five of air, or five of sword. Bad spirit, a rebirth is assured. Clean it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel that there's two things here, two energies popping up. The first thing that really stands out for me is relationship. And the second thing is I'm going to read it as general, okay? Let's talk about the relationship before I forget. <laughs> okay, so right now, let's talk about this, this, this fertility, this empress. This is an empress energy. For some of you, you are you're gonna find yourself pregnant this March, or you are going through some pregnancy this March. But I feel that there's a little bit of an argument with your person, if you your partner, whoever that you partner with, you're having a problem with them. Sorry, you have a problem with them because I have the five of air and I have the stubbornness. One of you is acting stubborn, okay? Whatever that you two are arguing, it's something that's got to be with pregnancy. Because I have the man and woman here, this is two of cups, so you are in some sort of partnership. But somehow you are not on the same page with your person because somebody is being stubborn. Okay? What's coming for you for the March 2022 for this specific issues, this specific situation, there is going to be an agreement this March about whatever the situation that you are both facing at this point in time. Whatever this argument, there is going to be a, an agreement, a peaceful resolution. Because you love each other so much and you're going to find a way to work this out. And it feels like you're going to be able to work it out this March. You're going to be able to clean up whatever mess that you both brought to each other's relationship or situation. You're going to clean it up. 
Okay, now that's done. Let's go to the other situation, life. You Pisces, you're feeling vibrant with this Empress energy. You're feeling beautiful or good looking. You're feeling like you are learning, you're growing, you're evolving. And I also feel that you are, your heart chakra is opening up a little bit. Or it's opening up for a lot of you. Big, wide open, and some they're opening up. Okay? Some of you Pisces are ahead of the other Pisces. The other Pisces, they're already embracing the, the Empress energy and they're, they're exuding this energy. And some of you, you're starting to become the Empress. You've gone through spiritual awakening, having this a rebirth is assured. This is the death energy. It's the same as the death energy in the traditional term. You've gone through some spiritual awakening where you realize some aspect of your life is really not working out. There's some conflicts. There's behavior. There's personality. There's being stubborn. There's being messy, literally messy at home, or it could just mess in life. Your mind is all over. Like, you don't really, you're doing a lot of things, but there's no specific direction. And you're maybe hard to admit that you, you are doing this to your life. You are stubborn admitting that you are, that there's some mess in your life. That you are causing conflict within yourself. Or you're causing conflict with others. This rebirth is assured. This self-awakening or spiritual awakening... It gives you a different perspective. I look at this bat as like a hangman energy also aside from that because this bat is upside down. As you're going through this awakening, you, you gain different perspective. Maybe you realize that, you know what? I'm not going to be stubborn anymore. Maybe it's time for me to yield. Maybe it's time for me to listen to people. Maybe it's time for me to just hold off. Maybe a little bit more receiving, a little bit more um, appreciative. Maybe a little less rigid, a little tensed up. Maybe you feel uptight. Maybe you realize that, you know what, I'm not going to be uptight. Because, just because. Because whatever that I'm doing that's stressing me out, whatever that I'm doing that's causing conflicts in my life, is not doing me any good if I just become a freaking hard-headed person. Why don't... Why do I go against the situation when I, can I just, when I can just flow with it and see where it goes? Why do I have to go be, why, don't, why, why do I have to have my ego, why do I have to worry about my ego getting hurt? What, where, do I, where does it get me? Yeah, my ego will get hurt, but am I getting anywhere? Nowhere. Maybe you realize if you open up yourself to people, that you might learn something from them. You might learn new perspective from them. Or it might awaken your other 
side, you all your other self, your not other self, but yourself. You might be awoken by this new perspective that other people has, these new ideas that they have. It's like, oh my god, I did not realize that Tao is that. Why did I I didn't know it? Because then your head was shut down. Now it's like you're opening yourself up and you're gliding to the idea, oh my God, if I just listen to people, I can actually learn from them. I can actually benefit for my own growth. You also probably learn through this awakening to this realization. If you could not resonate with the word spiritual awakening or sub-awakening, then you just realize that my life is shit. Not shitty is like you have a lot of problems, a lot of issues, but you realize that, my God, I'm missing something in my life because I was stubborn enough to not pay attention to it and I'm missing it. Now I realize that, oh my God, there's more to my life than what I thought I was. That, yeah. Because now you're cleaning up your energy. You're releasing and removing all this dust. And now you clearly can see what you're supposed to see. And that leads you to this empress energy. You grew up. You grow. You evolve. You learn. You're expanding. You're opening your heart chakra. You're, re you're starting to trust your intuition. You're willing to learn now. You you are in, you have the nurturing energy instead of intimidating energy. For some, you do might you might have some intimidating energy, but not not all of you. Just saying that. You you have a welcoming energy now. So what's coming to you this this March twenty twenty two? Your union within yourself, you're balancing your masculine, divine masculine and divine feminine energy within you. You are looking at the other side of you. You're looking at your, your feminine side and masculine side. But also you're looking at the imperfection of you. And the, the, the strong traits of you. The light and the shadow self of you. This is about union. This is about agreement within yourself. That you're going to work this out. That you're going to figure it out. That you have now the willingness to work with yourself. With your higher self. That you also have an agreement to love yourself and appreciate yourself. That there is a need of balance of love. And emotions that is not just a one-way street that is the rebirth that is guaranteed that's gonna be happening to you because it says here assured and through this Empress energy through this mindset through this mindset you're gonna there despite that there's some problem in your life you're gonna find it okay you're not gonna stress out about it you're gonna find an answer to it without stressing out nice now you have the crown chakra truth rest and rejuvenate and spiritual union there's there's so much awakening here there is your crown chakra is opening up, meaning that your connection to the divine, to the universe is opening up to you, to the truth. And to some of you, you do it through contemplation and through meditation. Or maybe for some of you, through meditation and through, through contemplation, you're opening up your crown chakra. You're connecting to the divine and now you're getting the truth. You're, down, you're getting some downloads now with the truth in here. And that balances you. 
your masculine and divine feminine within you. We all have divine feminine and divine masculine within us. You feel at peace with this balance, emotions and heart and you loving yourself back. The three tangible blessings that's going to come your way. Endurance. So for the ones who are actually losing uh, energies, there is going to be an energy coming your way this March. Okay? Extra energy. Extra push. Okay? Final decision. All right? There is, if there is something that you are going through and you are thinking about something and you're trying to make a decision, maybe you're having a hard time making a decision... Well, this March, that final decision is going to come, okay? Financial support, all right? I'm not going to even describe it. There's going to be some financial support. All right, this is your reading, my dear Pisces. I thank you so much, and I'm sending lots of love and light, and I'm giving you my big hug, big, big hug. Look, look it stretches out. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye-bye.